Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I would like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you enjoy these videos, you might want to consider subscribing. If you watch this video and you learn something from it, well, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I go about casting for custom molded orthotics or custom molded arch supports. Now, Every doctor has their method of casting and their opinion on how it should be done. This is simply my opinion. This is also a follow-up video to the last video that I released, which was four factors that I take into consideration when trying to select the right arch support. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. You'll probably want to watch that video because without that information, a lot of what I present today is going to be confusing. When I was in school, I learned how to slipper cast patients. This is a very common method for molding for orthotics. The way that it's done is as follows. So the patient is sitting in the exam chair with their feet suspended in space. The doctor wraps the foot and the arch in plaster, holds the foot in a particular position, and then after the cast, after this plaster dries, the, the casting is removed, a prescription is written, and off it goes to the lab where three weeks later, you get back from them a custom molded arch support. I grew frustrated with this kind of casting method, primarily because it never really seemed to make any sense to me. The, the, the inserts that I received never seemed to match the arch. There was always a big gap between the arch and the arch support. So what I do now is I use impression foam but I use the foam in a specific manner. So let me show you what impression foam is. Here's a company called Biofoam. And when you open up the box, there's a slab of foam on one side and a slab on the other. Now you may have seen these advertised online because there's a lot of companies that will, they will advertise that they can make a custom molded arch support for you and they will send you a box like this, maybe not Biofoam, probably another, another knockoff brand. And you, basically you stand in the foam block and you send it to the lab and then they make you your, your custom device. Well, there's a problem with that and, and that is that when you stand into one of these foam blocks, what's going to happen? Your weight is going to push your arch down and the most you can support then is the arch already collapsed? Well, by that time, a lot of the problems already happened, and you're not really you're not really solving much of the problem. So, I do not mold with my patient standing on the floor. I actually do a press molding, and I'm going to show you how I do that right now. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this first weight bearing. And this is the way I do not do it. So. I'm having this individual put all their weight down on their foot. Heel, the forefoot, the arch, everything goes down. And I'll show you this a little bit, how this looks a little bit better in just a second. Hang in there. But first let me show you how I do it with the arch up. So this is the way that I would do this in my office if I were now molding for a custom device. So I have the, the, the leg lined up straight with the foot and I simply push down on the knee. And that pushes the heel all the way down to the floor. And then I push down on the outside of the foot, getting the, that outside ray down. I push down on the big toe and then the lesser toes. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is just put my thumb on the knuckle bone, the big knuckle bone, and push that all the way down. That's the ball of the foot all the way down to the floor. And now when I take the foot out of the mold, look how high the arch is. The arch never went down in the mold. The arch is all the way up. That's key. And now what I'll do is I'll compare that to the other side, there's the other side, the, the left foot, where this individual stood. And look at how the arch is all the way down. The arch is not up. You see, whereas this one, the right side, the arch is all the way up. And this is done on the floor. So you have the arch all the way up on the floor. That is what is key here. All right, so now that I showed you how I do the mold, I also need to share with you one of the challenges that I face in making all this work. Now, when you go to the store and you buy an over-the-counter arch support, and you put that in your shoe, there's obviously going to be some sort of gap between the arch support and the arch, which means that there's time for the arch to go down to absorb shock before it hits any correction. But in this method of molding, 
the insert should fit the arch nearly perfectly, which means there is no time for the arch to go down to absorb shock. The shock is going to occur, the shock absorption is going to occur by the compression of the arch support. So in other words, if the arch support is too rigid, it's not going to go down enough to absorb shock and the individual is not going to be able to walk on it. It would be uncomfortable. But if it's too flexible, well, then the insert will be crushed or compressed too much underneath the foot and it's not going to function. You might as well go ahead and buy the over-the-counter arch support. So obviously, flexibility is very important. In fact, the flexibility is just as important as the shape of the arch support. And so obviously, the teaser for a future video is, how do you measure for flexibility of the foot? All right, well, if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Dr. Dave. I'll see you on the next video.